Hello, I'm Jonathan Bishop. I'm in Dr. Greco's Physics 2 class, and this is my extra credit lecture video type thing for the end of semester. So, the lecture that I uh, attended was Professor Alberto Fernandez Neves' uh, lecture on the physics of foods. And the guy talked pretty fast, so it's kind of hard to process all the information. But I'll try and give you a good summary and good gist of what he said. So he started off the lecture with talking about soft matter. And soft matter is stuff that's easy to deform. And stuff that's usually, this type of stuff is usually not pure such as water or like I don't know, pure carbon like a diamond can't really deform a diamond and then they're usually a mixture of phases such as I'm gonna bring up uh, a mixture of cornstarch and water it's really squishy easy to deform and it's a mixture of two things and that's what most stuff's made out of I'm gonna be talking about that later too it's like cornstarch and so he introduced something called an elastic modulus, which is used to help define uh, the hardness or softness of an object. And elastic modulus is basically energy over volume. And something with a mag uh, elastic modulus of a hundred of a hundred gigapascals is considered to be really hard and something that's one pascal is something that's really really soft and easy to deform and so after that he jumps to uh, states of matter solids liquids and gas talks about uh, liquids and solids and so what makes liquids and solids different are in liquids uh, molecules well yeah, I guess the molecules in the liquids have time to move around each other when you put your hand in it, so, uh, so to speak. And then in solids, they do not have time to move around each other, which is why you can't put your hand through something solid. And so, and then one thing he mentioned that I found really interesting is that liquids are actually solids for a short period of time. And uh, so I kind of looked into this more after the lecture. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, the show Mythbusters. What they do is, what they did for one episode is they made, they had a barrel and filled it up with water and cornstarch to make a nice mixture, liquid mixture. But if you touch it really fast, it's solid. And so what they ended up doing was with the mixture in the barrel, they stood on the barrel and then kept moving their feet up and down like this so that they were in contact with the matter for a very short period of time and they were able to stay afloat. Well, not afloat, but like jogging in place as if the mixture was solid. And then after a while, he, uh, the guy stopped and he started sinking into it as if it was a liquid because now the molecules in the liquid had time to move around each other which is why he sunk. And this, I'm going to go further more. This kind of reminds me of swimming at a swimming pool and diving off, well, trying to dive off the diving board. If you've ever done a belly flop, you'll find that it hurts a lot. It's almost as if the water's solid for a short period of time. I guess that's another thing that explains, helps explain his point. Okay. Next thing he talked about is how thick liquids, what makes them thick is that they have polymers in it. And these polymers forms, form networks within the liquid. And this is where he finally introduces food. So if you ever wondered how, if you have water and you heat it up, it'll eventually turn into a gas. But then if you heat up an egg, whether on a frying pan or you're boiling it, when you heat it up, it turns into a solid. 
The reason, reason for this is that water doesn't have any polymers, so it doesn't have any bonds between anything. So what ends up happening is all the molecules just bounce around and then evaporate. Well, they speed up really fast and evaporate away from each other and turn into gas. In eggs, it's filled with a lot of polymers, and when you heat them up, they excite and kind of clump together and form solids. And eggs and meat and almost any type of food, they all have these kind of characteristics. When you want a steak, if you don't heat it as long, it's more, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more rare. Or firm and then if you cook it longer it becomes more stiff more well done and that's kind of an explanation for that and so uh, that's the gist of his lecture thank you for listening to me